Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm sorry. I I was logged in, but in my next class from 9 to 10. Okay. Yeah, so I thought something was strange. I was thinking, where is everybody? Because I was alone. How are you? How was your day today? Fine. Fine, thank you. thank you. Nothing special today? No. no. Okay, now, now everybody's coming in now. Good, good, good. Hey, what's up, Gio? Hello. Somebody looks you? younger today. Oh, I shaved. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I... What? It's too hot, man. When it's hot, I... Yeah. I don't like it, so I, I just shave. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I do it this weekend. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Gio, do you do you play in a band? No. Uh, I usually, yeah. You play in a band? Yeah, I usually used to play in a band. Yeah. Oh, I used then, to. You used to. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what band did you play? What was the name of your band? I was in the. In the nineties. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this was a, a metal band. Oh, okay. Do you remember, Fenastras? Oh yeah, I went to Fenastras maybe, two times I think, in San Jacinto, yeah. right? Yeah, it was with the Rocker Club of El Salvador. Oh okay. Yeah. And uh, what was your band's name? In that time, there were two. Uh, one was witchcraft, and the other one was this Gale. I remember the name witchcraft. You were in yes. witchcraft. Yes. Oh, okay. And what what instrument? Or were you the singer? Guitar and singer. Yeah. Oh, you're the guitar player. Oh, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Nice. Interesting. All right, Jaime, how are you, sir? Not bad. Yeah? Triple, I, yeah. I, I only see half of your face, but... <laughs> oh, there you go. There's your face. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There you go. I see you now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see Elena. I see Alexandra. I see Patricia. Patricia, what's that behind you? It's a mirror or it's a, it's a painting? It's a mirror. Oh. Hi, teacher. Hi. I, I like the color of that wall. I, li I like, because I see one one is like orange and the other is blue, no? It's uh, red, really. Red. Oh, I like that. I like that combination. Red color. Good. Oh, that's good. That's nice. It looks good. Thank you. What about you, Ingrid? How, how are you today? Fine. Yeah. Something tired, I, guess I don't know, is um, I choose the concept glue. Okay. I'm sorry, you're a little um, tired today. Yeah, a little tired. Yeah, why is I, that? It has been, uh, because I'm working in a, um, in a recruitment process for a new restaurant. Oh, okay. So I have been busy in that process. Oh, okay. So Interviewing people. So people I'm call excited. your company, and then you go to that company and start interviewing people. Uh, well, I'm uh, um, the the figure the figure that I have in this moment is a freelance um, for the new restaurant. They are going to open in the uh, Merlot area in Volcano. Wow! And and this this um, this process is new for me because I don't have experience in this uh, in this area of of business. In the restaurant. No, it's my first time in, and it's, it was interesting. Yeah. What what Very questions What questions do you ask uh, somebody? Well, I work uh, with competency model because it's my speciality. 
Okay. So uh, I work with values. Um, I work in, and I want to know how the people work. And, and I ask for examples about, um, 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 I, I don't know, um, customer service, uh, child, um, uh, logros, I don't, I, goals. 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 Mm -hmm. goals. And it depends, uh, the, um, and it depends about the, the, the position. It depends the position too. The kind of questions because yeah, of I'm in the in the I don't know how to say people are serving in in table. Uh, we are um, asking about um, uh, situational questions about behavior of the clients and things like that. Okay. Values and and how they learn about the mistakes because it's in very interesting information that I recollect in that question. Do you do do you do the lie detectors? Um, I don't believe in that, that, that I don't know how to say polygrapho uh, in my Yeah, the light, opinion. it's called the light detector. Yeah, do you know, I don't believe in that. Do you know, yes, I, I was going to ask you, I don't know why companies, why companies believe in that, because that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie, and uh, for me, it's not that interesting. My, my, for me, it's not a uh, uh, for me, I can't, I don't trust. trust in that behavior and that tool because it's not true. Yes, and, and I am a perfect example. <laughs> I am a perfect example because um, my wife, she's an extremely correct person. She's a dentist and she is very, really, I think my wife is maybe the most responsible person I know. And she had a good opportunity for a job and she she didn't pass the lie detector and yeah and, and it's and not legal i am the devil i i am a <laughs> i was very bad in my life and i i always pass the lie detector <laughs> yeah so, i have this i <laughs> yeah i had this i had the same experience because i can <clears throat> uh, be quiet uh, for a very long time and i started to <laughs> Hey, you just need to breathe and say yes, no. Yes, yeah. so and, and I don't pass. And don't move. Mm -hmm. Because I can I can stay uh, quiet, and and for me being with all these cables in my body, mm, yeah, it's not yeah. I I I really don't think companies should do that because if if they base if content if companies base the decision on a machine and not on a person, yeah. it's bad. Yeah, there is another tool. Um, um, there is a, a Amitai that is a, um, an example that is a, like a psychometric test, and oh, okay. that will give you um, uh, an answer for or or a view of, or of a candidate. Yeah, it's I always I always um, pass the lie detector test, and I lie, I lie like crazy. Are you a good boy? Yes. <laughs> No. Okay, listen, um, today we're going to continue with the grammar. We're going to see more grammar, okay? Um, because there's no class tomorrow. You know that class is from Monday to Thursday, right? Yeah. And Monday, Monday's November 2, correct? Yeah. All right. It's there, yeah, it, it's a holiday. There's no class. Okay. And it's my birthday. <laughs> my mother's birthday too. Oh, really? Cool. Nice. Happy Thursday. Oh, thank you. You know, I, I that have. Explain because you are a bad boy. <laughs> no, I have an obsession. I have an obsession for um, like skulls. Skulls. And I think I know why, because when I was a little boy, I lived in the United States and I, I have Mexican family and almost all my neighbors are Mexican. And um, no Excuse me. Yes. What is a skull? What is a skull? Calavera. Yeah. Calavera. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a big collection of skulls. And, and, and the reason was because in, in, in Mexico, November 2 is a very, very big day because it is bigger than Christmas. And I remember. Oh, see, cocoa. <laughs> yeah, it's cocoa, yeah. 
and everybody paints. Mm -hmm. So I always remember my birthday related to skulls. Mm -hmm. so someday I will get a big tattoo with a skull. <laughs> Are you going to paint your face like a Katrina? <laughs> Yeah, no, because here, here people, I mean, the, the, the tradition here is only go to the cemetery. And that's it. I suffered, I suffered a lot when I was a little boy because my brothers, they said, ha, 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 uh, the piñata is going to be in the cemetery. And oh, I used to cry. <laughs> yeah. Or the cake, you know, where, uh, you know, my, I remember my brother said, hey, David, my dad says that when we go to the cemetery, we're going to cut the cake for you. And I used to cry. But now it's a holiday. That's cool. I can drink tequila one day before and no problem. The next day I don't work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, remember last time, what was the last video we watched on Monday? Do you remember? It was, we were talking about describing problems, remember? I don't remember. About the hostel? Yeah. Yes. Oh, listen, um, one thing, I don't know, I don't know if um, you saw the email, but the platform is, is very bad today. It's, it's not working, it's broken. So I want to see if it's working now. The, the platform has been bad since yesterday. I don't know why. Can you open um, the exercises? Yeah. It's not working. It. Yeah. For me, sometimes it opens, sometimes it doesn't in my, in my end. So we're going to do it in my end. I hope it works. Today we're, today we're going to do a listening part. There are fireworks right now. I don't know why. Do you know what are fireworks? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of fireworks in this moment by my house. Is there a celebration July, today? July 4th. I hear it too. Oh, yeah? We're, oh yeah, we, no we live close. Oh, they stopped. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, they stopped. Okay, so let me share the screen with you. All right, do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, listen, we're going to, um, we're going to listen, okay? If you notice, look, there are three problems, I think, yeah, three. We have to, you have to listen to the item and if, and what the, pro, what the problem is. Have you ever, have you, okay, before, before we do this, have you ever bought any, something from a store and it doesn't work and you return it? Hmm? No. Nope. <laughs> really? You, you never bought something and then when you go home, it's not working and you say, oh, oh this is not good and, and you return it? No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, let me you tell you. Coming, Jeff. Yeah. Okay. I, I had a I had a problem last year in this time. To be to be exact, I remember I went. It was a it was a problem, but Walmart was very nice. Mm -hmm. Except for except for one person. Um, I bought a TV in El Dia Mabarato. 
and it was good. It was good. I bought a TV like for ninety nine dollars, uh, smart TV, and blah blah blah. Everything was fine. The problem is that when I go home, um, in the in the top corner, the TV had a little pixel, like like a pixel was broken, a little scratch, a stain. Remember a stain? Yeah. So the screen had like a little stain and I said, oh man, this is not normal. So that was at night. So the next morning I go to Walmart and I told him, look, I bought this TV yesterday, but. Is it store? <laughs> I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Well, uh, so I went to Walmart and I told him, look, I bought this TV yesterday, but it has a little stain. And I think I'm pretty sure it's a pixel. So then the the man who worked in the electronic department, he told me, oh no, but that's normal. Mm -hmm. And I said, why is that normal? Yeah, and he told me this brand, I think the brand was Zif, Z-I-F. Do you know what brand is, brand? Yeah. For example, Gio's shirt, the brand is Adidas. Look. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. So um, so then the person that worked there, he told me all these TVs come like that. The brand mm -hmm. it, it's it's from the brand. And in my mind inside, I said, Oh man, this is ridiculous. And I said, Really? Mm -hmm. So the TVs, all the TVs from this brand are like that. He said, yes, yes, that's normal. It's their trademark. Do you know what a trademark is? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. And I told him, I'm sorry, I don't believe that. That's, that's a pixel broken. He says, no, 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 it's not. And I said, okay, can you show me the TVs here that are Civ? Yeah. I want to see that the brand. brand. Yeah. He said, sure. So we went and we looked and no TVs had that. Uh, well, at the end, I said, okay, I'm not going to waste my time with this person. And I said, but well, look, anyway, I bought it yesterday and this is not working. Can I have uh, my money back or an exchange? He said, oh, yeah, there's no problem. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to thank you. So I went to human resource, uh, I don't know, I went to this office and they were very nice to me. Those people were very nice and they told me, hi, hi, how are you? Oh, my name is David. What happened? Oh, and I said, I bought Teacher. this TV. Yes. Hello? Teacher, can you repeat all that? Because uh, you were frozen for a, for a little moment. Oh, man. Oh. From your exchange. Oh, okay. Um, hold on, let me check one thing. You're frozen again. Can you hear me now? All right, can you hear me now? Uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so then this man, he, he, he told me that all the TVs are like that. The, all the, so I said, no, okay. And I said, can you please, um, I don't want this TV. In, in my opinion, the TV is not working, <laughs> it's broken. He said, okay, whatever. So when I when I went to return the TV, the person in customer care, she asked me, oh, what happened? Oh, I said, look, it's no problem. Um, just the TV has a little pixel, a line. And I know that within time, that line is going to get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, really? Okay, don't worry. And she says, do you want your money back or do you want another TV? And I said, maybe I want another TV. I don't know. Can I see? Okay. Ah, so they were very nice. They they returned the money to me. The, you nice. know, no problem. So exchange the, means when you need your uh, a product for, for another. Yes. And 
the exchange it. Yeah, exchange it because you, you have- I learned a new word for me. Okay, good, all right. And that's, that's gonna be the listening, the listening part in this moment. Oh, I just forgot to tell you. So when, when they were going to, the, the lady, she called the man and the man, he brought the TV. He gave the TV to her. And he told her, look, this TV is fine. It only has a little, uh, it has a little scratch, but that's from fabric. And I said, really, man? And you're still insisting that, <laughs> that the TV is from fabric? Oh, man. You know, because the, he was insisting that the TV was okay and that, that little scratch was no problem. Oh, annoying. Yeah, and I said no. You know, I don't want, I don't want him to get in trouble. But oh. I mean, it's not his job was only to return the the the, the TV. Have you ever had a problem like that that you return something? Mm. Yes, I have. The last year, I bought uh, some articles, mm -hmm. but they say uh, if I have a problem, I have to go the next day as a limit. Uh, for a change. After okay. that, I have to go to the brand taller, oh, how do you say? To the shop, yes. Uh -huh. the, uh, where the, they yeah. repair the, uh, uh, all the, uh, Look, the... One thing, one thing I recommend you, I will recommend you class, that if you ever have a problem because I, I had another problem in La Curacao. I bought a washer and the washer didn't work. And the mechanic came and he said, oh yeah, it didn't work. So they took the washer to the shop. I didn't know this, I didn't know this. They were going to fix the washer and return it. But my cousin, he's a lawyer and he told me, what? They can't, they can't return you. They have to give you a new one. Mm -hmm. So remember this, if you buy something new and it has uh, something bad, they can't fix it and return it to you. They have to give you something new again. Mm -hmm. Because I, I was going to accept it. I, I was, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, okay, it's good now. Yeah, okay, thank you, no problem. Then my cousin said, no, 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 don't accept it. They, when you buy something new, you have to ask for something new. So maybe that washer had, it was broken or something, okay, from fabric, there's no problem. They have to give you a new one because they will charge you anyway. So, so remember that if you ever have that problem. Okay, so in this list, in this audios that we're going to do today is something similar. So we're going to have three problems, three problems. And every problem, listen to what the item is and the resolution. I'm sorry, what the item is, problem. what the problem was, and the resolution. Or exchange it. Yes. Uh, Please teacher, I, yes. Have a, I have a question. Yes, uh, Alvin. Can, can you uh, review again the last part? Uh, it's about um, the way you, no, the way um, spelled exchange. Because I see exchange with G. And, and down I see exchange with CH. I, right there. Wow. <laughs> Very good, Alvin. I had not noticed that. That's not, this is not correct. Point for Alvin. An extra uh, point, teacher. You know, Alvin, <laughs> you know, Alvin <laughs> what, what you have, that is an ability, man. Yeah. You have, I, I wish, I wish I had that. I, you know, Wow, I, I I I didn't realize that. That's good, man. It's because I only think in chanchos. That's why. <laughs> I think this one is wrong too. Exchangeally. Yeah, exchange. This, this would be, this would be a exchange, 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 exchange. 
it's for the the way you have to to, to pronounce. Uh, pronounce. Pronounce. Well, pronounce. Let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you a secret. That was on purpose, only to see if somebody saw this. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, hey, very good, man. Very good. Good job there. I didn't. I. I I didn't notice. Okay, so let's listen to this. So one thing, remember, listen to the item, listen to the problem and the solution. All right, tell me if you can hear. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. We cannot hear anything. No, I know. Uh, but I, is, is the platform is bad in this moment? And the flash teacher. I'm sorry? Um, yeah, I, I, just, I just refreshed. El icono negrito este, este con la flechita, ahí. Yeah, okay, I just refreshed it, hold on. Right there, right there. Okay. Listen to three customers return an yeah. item they purchased. Yes. What's the problem? Take notes, then complete the chart. Okay, he says, she said take notes. I don't know if you can take notes or just how good your listening skills are. All right, let's do it. One. Can I help you? Yes, I bought this briefcase here last week, but there's something wrong with the lock. I can't get it to close properly. Let me see. Yes, I see what you mean. The lock seems to be jammed or something. No problem. I'll get you another one. Sorry about that. Two. Excuse me. You want to do it one by one or you listen to the three problems? Just three in a row. Yeah, let's listen to the three in a row. Let's see how, how, yes. how good you remember. I wonder if you could take a look at these shoes I bought here. They're pretty new, but they seem to be falling apart. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this doesn't look right. The stitching is coming out. How long did you say you've had them? Only about a month. Here's the receipt. Hmm, yes. Oh. Well, let me exchange these for you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Three. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? You see this shirt? I bought it here a few weeks ago, but the first time I washed it, the color changed. It went from bright red to light pink. How did you wash it? Well, I just tossed it into the washing machine with my other clothes. What temperature did you use? I usually wash my clothes in hot water, so I guess hot. Well, did you check the washing instructions? Um, maybe not. Well, you see here on this label, it says wash in cold water only. Uh-huh. So I'm really sorry, but since you didn't follow the washing instructions, I can't really do anything for you. All right, that, that was pretty easy to understand, I think. All right. Um, I'm gonna go here to Elena Amaya. Hi. Good you evening. Hear me? Hi. Good yeah. evening. Do you remember what the item was in in, in the um, first problem? Uh, in the first problem, they are talking about the lock of a uh, that that doesn't plus. Yeah, but what was the item? Was the lock from a door? from a car or what do you remember from a briefcase yeah. <laughs> and, and elena imagine i don't know what a briefcase is what is a briefcase uh it's um like a bag that you use to put uh documents inside of, of oh, okay only documents 
you can put uh, pencils or uh, your glasses. Oh, so usually, so a briefcase is usually used for business. Yeah. By businessmen or women. Okay. Also, you can use it for uh, guns, for computers, laptops. Yeah. Yeah, briefcase. Do you have a briefcase, Elena? Yes, I have one. All right, cool. For my computer. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Laura, and what was the problem with the briefcase? Laura Ramos? Hello. Hi. Uh, the briefcase is like a bag uh, for keep a computer, laptop, or books. Okay, but in, 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 in the, the listening part, what was the problem the with exchange. No, but what was the problem with the briefcase? Do you remember? I don't remember. I only remember the, the customer exchange the okay. product. You have two options here. The lock doesn't work or the lock doesn't work. Uh, the lock doesn't work. Works. Works or work? Works with with e, with F oh, works. Okay. Okay, let's check. Carlos Flores, is that correct? The lock doesn't work. Is that correct? No, it's not. Carlos Flores is not. But Beatriz Valencia, are you there? Yes, I'm here, teacher. Hi, Beatriz. Is that How correct? Are you? I'm okay, thank you. Okay, the lock doesn't work, is that correct? No, it it doesn't correct because in that case, the correct answer is the first one because in that answer you use the auxiliary do and you use in the third person because you are talking about lock. So the verb uh, don't, the verb don't uh, need to add S at the end of the verb. Okay, so the log doesn't work. Yes. Okay, good. So Laura, actually the correct way is the log doesn't work. Okay. And, okay, good. But Beatriz, you said, no, it doesn't correct. I think you said that. It doesn't. It doesn't. Correct. That answer, that, that answer doesn't correct. No, no, I mean, it's, yes, it's not correct, but the way you're saying it is not correct. Is That answer isn't correct. That answer isn't correct. Isn't yes. correct. There yes, you go. because we are using the verb to be. Exactly. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Sandra Hernan, are you there? Yes, teacher. What happened with the briefcase? Um... Um, oh. Repeat, please. What happened with the briefcase? Will the will the store ah, exchange it? The lockdown clock. The lockdown clock. I'm sorry. The lockdown don't close. The lock doesn't close. Yeah, no, okay, good, but we are here now. Okay, so we, we already know this, the uh -huh. briefcase. We already know what the problem mm -hmm. is. Now the solution, will the store exchange it? Yes. Yes, the store will exchange it. Complete, please. Uh, yes. Yes. Exchange it. Good. You see, that's why that's why it's very important to always be complete. Yes, the store will exchange it. Repeat. Yes, the store will exchange it. Very exchange good. It. Very Thanks. good. Okay, now we're in problem number two. Let me see. Yesenia Mendez, are you there? Hi. Hi. 
How are you, Yosenia? Fine. Do you remember what the problem was in number two? What, what were they talking about? What was the item? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I okay, well, okay. Only, look at, look at the other part. Coming apart, you. falling apart. Let me give you a clue. Is something that women buy without necessity? A purse? Okay, the second thing that women buy no. excessively. Shoes? Yes. Shoes? <laughs> yes, it's something that women always need. I don't know why, but they always, because they never have some. Yes, it is really. That yeah. is the good reason yeah. we need the shoes for any clothes or any uh, situation. Yeah. To match with yeah. the outfit. <laughs> yeah, I need a yeah. pair of shoes. You have like 68 pairs. Yeah, but I don't have black. Yes, you have black. Yes, but I don't have high heel, low heel, flat heel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blah, 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 that is blah. important. And hey, you know, you know. From woman. You know what I tell my wife, you know, don't worry, men, we don't look at shoes. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, men don't ever say, man, look at her shoes. <laughs> 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 but, but women it's do, necessary. Right? Yeah, it's I know. necessary. The shoes are necessary. It's necessary for every day. Yeah. Yeah, but when we want to buy a PlayStation or something, that's not necessary. <laughs> That's too much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, it's okay. So, um, I'm sorry, I was talking with Ruth, right? Who was I talking? Yesenia. Oh, I'm sorry, with, with Yesenia. Yesenia. There you go, I lost you, Yesenia. Where are you? I lost I'm you, here. I lost you. I'm here. Okay, 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 I see you, I see you, I'm seeing you. Okay, so you're saying, well, what was the problem, the, the item, the problem? Coming apart. Uh, the problem they think is the shoes. And oh. uh, the problem is coming apart. Okay, good. Do you understand that expression, coming apart? Is when uh, you want to, to change uh, the, the, the shoes or... Uh, when you return? Um, no, actually the expression coming apart is when something is, is doing it slowly, but it's opening. It's coming apart. Like this usually like happens rasgado? a lot. I'm sorry? Rasgado? No. Despegando. Mm. That would be the word. necessary to change the shoes. Yeah, of course. That, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> no. And that, that usually happens a lot in women's shoes. Huh? It, it, it always comes apart. Okay. And um, Patricia, will they exchange the shoes? Yes. Uh, the store will exchange uh, the shoes. Excellent. Now let me see who remembers problem number three. Jessica, what, what is the item in problem number three? Uh, the item, uh, a washing machine. That was the problem, the washing machine? Well, it was part of the problem, but that was not the item that he was talking about. Oh no, uh, a shirt. <laughs> yeah, it was a shirt. The, the, the shirt um, changed the color when the, the men use a uh, color water, color temperature water. Okay, yes. So the item was a shirt. And the problem was that the shirt, the shirt changed colors, right? Yeah. And Carlos Flores, will the store exchange that shirt? Um, yes, t-shirt. Um, no, not t-shirt, I'm sorry. 
That's okay. The um this this sell this the salesperson explained um to the buyer that um in the uh, trade in the in the trade um was the indication that the temperature for this shirt is not uh it's not high. So in that case it was a run for the for the for the guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that was that was not the store's fault. It was the person, right? Yeah. Do you uh, people that does everybody here wash in in a washing machine? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. some kind yeah. of cloth. I... Okay. Have you ever had that problem? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Exactly. No. A problem. One time. Nope. Oh yeah, what happened one, one time? In my case, <laughs> yes, teacher, because sometimes I put it into the washing machines close to different color and they change the color too. Yeah, I, yeah, it's true. You know what is ugly? I don't know. Do you have a dryer? No. 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 You yeah. don't? Is only the thumb. Only the thumb. You have a natural dryer. <laughs> um, I, I have a dryer. Me too. Yeah, but that's because my um, my mother gave it to me. You are rich. No, rich. no, I, no, <laughs> the, no. The story was because one day my my shirt smelled very bad. Eso no existe en inglés, pero secado en seco. Yeah, my shirt. In sombra, in sombra. In sombra. In sombra, in sombra, yeah. So my Drag mother was in shadows. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I remember my mother was angry the whole day, like, ah, oh, you smell bad. You smell I'm I'm sorry, mom. Well, what can I do? So when I got married, that was her present. She bought me a, a dryer. I put my I put my dress. <laughs> a good dress. <laughs> yeah, you know it it. No, but it was only one day in my whole life that I didn't I didn't feel the, the smell in my shirt until like 30 minutes later, like, wow, this is my shirt. But it was too late to go change. But you know how mothers are. <laughs> but the, the problem, the reason why I'm telling you is because the problem with a dryer, <laughs> my wife suffered because if you're not careful with a dryer, the clothes shrinks. Yeah. But yeah. So be yeah. careful if you ever buy a dryer, because it's sometimes if you put extreme. But it depends. It depends the, the temperature, because uh, when when uh, use the the dryer, uh, the high temperature, the the clothes uh, the clothes is is Shrink. small. Yeah, it shrinks. 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 Yeah. Shrinks. But they shrinks. only put only put the 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 the, the clothes uh, one day in suavitel or desert. O sea, fabric softener. ¿Cómo? Fabric softener. Fabric soft. Fabric soft. Softener. Softener. Okay. Fabric softener. 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 And yeah. the, the clothes, no, no is the same, but, but uh, uh, the clothes, uh, estira? Stretches. Uh, Stretch. o sea, stretches. Se amplía otra vez, stretchers. Yeah. Pero sí se amplía, no se pone stretches, sino que como que vuelve otra vez a la normalidad. Normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it stays normal. But the problem is that if you use high heat, no. Yeah. The clothes dries quicker, but if you use normal, like the clothes dries wet in 40 minutes, one hour. But if you use normal with no heat, man, two hours, three hours, and the clothes is still wet and, and the electricity is very. <laughs> so I remember the first days my wife, oh, oh my God, I'm fat. My clothes doesn't fit me. I said, no, <laughs> it's not that. It's, it's, the, it's the dryer. No, I'm fat. No, baby, it's the dryer. <laughs> so mm -hmm. if you ever buy a dryer, be careful or buy, buy your clothes 
one size extra because it will shrink. Or it's an excuse to feel good that you're fat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, hey, ya no me queda. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's the dryer. <laughs> I'm not fat, it's the dryer. <laughs> okay, um, do you still see my screen? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. we're going to do one thing here. The grammar here today will be this. We this I can't find it. Teacher. Yes. What's the difference in between coming apart and falling apart? Coming apart and falling and apart. Falling apart. Okay, uh, very good. The difference is falling apart is pretty much um, physical. Okay. Okay. And Hold on, let me see one thing here. Yeah, uh, coming apart pretty much is physical, and and coming. I'm sorry, falling apart is physical, and coming apart is more emotional. What? Um, let me give you an example. Hold on, let me erase. It's this. like getting depressed or something like that. Um, hold on. It, can you hear me right now, class? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Who asked me that question, Beatriz? Yes. Okay. Um, In the exercise one, we had coming apart and falling apart. Yeah. The the two pretty much is the same thing. But if, if you want to ask the difference, when you say coming apart is more emotional. Like, let me tell you, do you, did you ever in your life have a long relationship, but a very long relationship that maybe yeah. you had a, you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend that, you know, like the first month, oh, I love you. Second month, oh, I love you forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Third month, oh, we're going to get married. Oh, oh, you're the best. Oh, I love you. I love you. One year. Okay. I still love you. Two years, three years, but then 10 years. It's, no, 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 but some people do that. Some people have a relationship for like six for 10 years. Yes. Yeah. Six, seven years, but it's not the same. Eight years. Eight years. Maybe you still love that person, but some, you started coming apart because you, know, you become more friends than a relation. Mm. That, you know, that expression, that, that, that would be the expression when you come apart. Or like, remember when you were in high school, you had very, very good friends, your best friend forever. And then you yes. go to the university, you were still friends, but in the university, you meet more friends and start coming apart with your best friend from high school. Yeah. Yes. Sure. It's, it's like something emotional, but you know, distancing emotional and falling apart is really more physically. Like the shoe is falling apart. But um, your relation is coming apart. Okay. Yeah, I remember I had a, I had a um, um, I had a girlfriend like for twelve years, I think. Twelve years. Yeah, I said that she wasn't my girlfriend anymore. She was my cousin. <laughs> 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 because she was a <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, I loved her very much, but really, it wasn't the same anymore. I remember she would say, like, I'm going to go to the beach one week with my friends. Oh, good. <laughs> Get the wire in. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> but, you know. Now I know, now I know you are alone in this moment in your house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am, I am in my man cave. And you know. Do you know what is a Do you know what is a man like, cave? Um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like Baticueva. Yeah. <laughs> Coming apart is like a separate. It's separating, yes. 
Uh -huh. But more like emotionally, you know, like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and not and not only in a relationship with your girlfriend or boyfriend, it can be with, with your father, with your mother, your brother, your friends. You know, unfortunately, that happens sometimes. You know, sometimes people say, "Oh, I remember we used to be very good friends," but then we came apart. I don't know when, but we just came apart. Okay. All right. That's yeah. a very good question, though. Okay. One thing I'm here. Let me change this. The phrasal verbs. Okay. Do you see my screen here? Um. Not really. No, it's the same. The same. Okay. Hold I on. still see the questions. Here, let's do this instead. Oh, I see the chat. Yes, I have one briefcase. <laughs> I didn't see the chat because I was sharing a screen. Do you see the chat here? Can you tell me the difference between this? Wait, I'm sorry. Going to and will. Going to and Okay. What you say you are going statement. to is because you are going to do it. One is a statement and the, the other is like uh, you're going to do something later. If you notice, if you notice all the questions said, will the store change it, exchange it, or exchange it, exchange it? No. Will the, exchange it. Will the store exchange it? All the questions were like that. The questions were not... Is the score is the store going to change it? Why? Because it's going to happen. Because something that will not happen. I'm sorry. Going to is like a statement. Okay. So is that to happen or not, teacher? Yeah. Okay. Is okay. that a possibility? All right. Give me more. Give me more. They're all good. It's going to when you uh, are sure about the, the something that you can do in the future and will when they're not sure or not certainly. Okay. Okay, that's good. Listen, let me explain this to you. Yeah, they're all good. What you were telling me is good. But remember, um, there's always like a simple explanation. I can give you a complicated university explanation, or I just can give you the KISS explanation. Keep it simple. Going to and will, the two are future, correct? Yes. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to eat pupusas and tomorrow I will eat pupusas. The same thing. There's no there's no there's no change right there. That's if your son or daughter asks you, Papa, Mama, que la diferencia de yo voy a comer y yo comeré. And then you explain, <laughs> es que mira, yo voy a comer es cosa cuando vas a comer algo y pero no sabes qué y comer es que estás seguro y que lo que vas a comer, ¿me entiendes? And the little kid's gonna go, ajá. Uh -huh. Y después se quedan ustedes pensando, y sí, que es cierto, ¿y qué es la diferencia? I mean, the two are future, right? But it's, it's, very, it's very simple. I'm going to explain that to you right now. Look, sometimes, sometimes, the difference is not important. But sometimes the difference is very important. It's not important. Tomorrow I'm going to eat pupusas. Tomorrow I will eat pupusas. So no, the difference is not important. But there's a there when it's important. Okay, first. Will. <sighs> Do you know what is a commitment? Yeah. What is a commitment? Hmm? 
Compromiso. Compromiso. A compromise. A compromise. Gio, do you have a girlfriend? Or are you married? I'm married. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Jessica, do you have a boyfriend? I'm married too. You're married. Who has a boyfriend instead of a... Who has a boyfriend? Who has a girlfriend? Oh my God, everyone's married here? No. <laughs> okay, well, let me give you an example. I'm no. single. No. Oh, okay. No. The, the, reason why, the reason why I'm asking you this is because, listen, have you ever heard somebody says, I love you, will you marry me? Ya he escuchado alguien proponer, right? Will you marry me? Yes? Will you marry me? No. Yeah, in English, when you ask somebody to marry you, you always say will. You never say, are you going to marry me? No, you always say, will you marry me? And, and the answer is yes or no. Correct? Yes. Yeah. In movies, you see, oh, I love you. You're the love of my life. And it's okay. And this is the moment. You're the. Uh, wait, hold on. I want to see if my wife is watching. <laughs> you know, you know that you have to say, you know, like, oh, I can't imagine my life without you. And then you take out the ring and says, I love you very much. Will you marry me? Listen, here the, the here is a very big difference between will and going to, because I am asking you to compromise. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. You are committing. So it, what is the difference between going to and will? When you say will, it's a commitment. Sure. Yes. Voy y lo haré. Voy a hacerlo y lo haré. Exactly. Cuando tú dices lo harás, te estás comprometiendo. Right? Hey, uh, this weekend we're going to go pick up garbage in downtown San Salvador. Jimbaid, who wants to go? I will, I will, I will. So when you compromise yourself, yes? Going to is a plan. Going to is a plan. Will is a compromise. Y voy a regresar al tema de casar. Listen to this. Hey, class, look, I'm going to get married. Oh, good for you. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. When? I don't know. Maybe next year. Because I said, I'm going to get married. Oh, good. When? Maybe next year. It's a plan. Pero si hay fecha, hotel, iglesia y todo. Pagado, it's not a plan. Ya hay un compromiso esa fecha. So, yeah, uh, there's a compromise. So then, then, then my expression would be different. A class, look, I will get married next Friday, okay? In the Beverly Hills Hotel in Las Vegas. You are all invited. No, que tenga visa. Yeah, cáiganse, no, no problem. Yeah. So that, that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference. Sometimes, like, like I told you, sometimes the difference is not important. Sometimes it is. Por eso decía aquí, will the store exchange it? Yes, because the store was compromising. Yes, don't worry. We will, uh -huh. we will, we will exchange it. Like okay. a confirmation. No, the, the two are confirmations, but like will is compromise. Yo me comprometo, yeah? Yo lo haré. Yes. It's a fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, for example, listen, um, vamos a ver. Saturday, quinceañera de mi sobrina. I will go or I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to. I will because he's your nephew. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's will because it's quinceañera. It's a party. So, si ustedes vienen y me dicen, hey, T, 
teacher, let's go, let's go drink some beers Saturdays. Yeah, oh no, I can't. Why? Because Friday I will go to my niece's to my niece's um candles. party. Yeah, so in that case, in that case, um, I can't, I have a compromise that day. And don't say, okay, claro, siempre puede cambiar la, la, but you know, pero mala onda. I'm sorry, I hear, yes, I hear a lot of, okay. um, listen, class, I will see you on Tuesday, okay? Okay. Yes. Oh, hey, oigan, oigan, dije will, sin querer. Pero me estoy comprometiendo. Teacher, I will see you Tuesday. That night we will have a, put attention in, in, on TV because that, that day is the, the elections in USA. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah. Remember this, Trump will win. Yeah. Why? Trump. He have the states with more uh, college. How do you say votos colegiados? Votes. No, but it's not because of that. Because in the last 30 years in the United States, it's always the same. One Republican, one Democrat. One Republican, one Democrat. And they always win the two. The two they always. Look at George yeah. Bush. George Bush won two times and in the 9-11. But... But when Rick wins, gone, uh, he had he has two two periods, and George Bush father uh, won the the third period for Republicans. Yeah, first it was George Bush father Republican, then Clinton Democrat, then Bush uh, Republican, then Clinton. Obama Democrat. Now it's um, yeah. Trump uh, Republican. Since Clinton is that, that is the, the way. Yeah, I like Donald Trump. He's funny. <laughs> he, he's so stupid when he's, t I, I mean, I like watching his interviews because you're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> you're garbage. Next, next. He's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a funny thing. Yeah. He just says, shut up. You're garbage. Your newspaper yeah. is garbage. Next. <laughs> they always yeah. doing paper. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, class. So I will see you Tuesday then. Or I'm going to see you Tuesday. You will. You will. <laughs> I will. Will. Yeah. You will. Yeah, I'm compromising myself right now on Tuesday. I will see will. you, okay? You okay. know I will. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, you know I will. That's a will. song. Like the song. Yeah. Will you still love me Everything. tomorrow? Ah, miren, y eso, es lo mismo nice inglés, y eso es lo mismo en inglés y español también. Yo iré y yo voy a ir, yo iré, me estoy comprometiendo. Eh, analícenlo bien una vez y ya van a ver la diferencia. Y es que es cierto, no, yo iré, yo votaré, yo, ah, yo voy a, es un plan y un compromiso. Okay. 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 Okay.